Welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. This hi, is... Hi everybody, this is Celaya, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a beef barbecue sandwich. So, the ingredients are, this is what we're going to be using. Buns, um, the barbecue meat, and um, my, after this, my mom will show a video on how to make it. But this is dry because it's for tomorrow for lunch, so I don't want it to be soggy. So this is basically beef barbecue. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I made the beef barbecue. And I make a lot of it and then just um, put it in the freezer. And then whenever she wants a sandwich, um, she can take it out and it's ready to go on the days when I'm really busy and I don't have time to help her with the sandwich. And the other thing I want to point out is this bar beef barbecue, you will see that it's pretty dry. And I've done it pretty dry for a reason that um, you know, if it stays in a bun the whole um, mid after morning, it's gonna get really soggy. And so this is why it's got the beef barbecue taste, but it's not soggy. So I'll have her continue. So um, we're gonna be having cucumbers. I will show you how to, the way that I cut them. Um, for snack, I'm actually gonna take um, some more drizzled mini crisp. It's fit and active, so it's really kind of like healthy for you. I have already made, so I will taste it at the end. So we're gonna take one of our buns. So I've got the two buns, but they're actually two. So I'm just gonna put it on my plate. I'm gonna take my mom's barbecue meat Barbecue beef. And I'm just going to take a teaspoon and put it right in the middle. I actually press it hard so it's actually like kind of spreading. I'm going to take some more. Okay, as you can see, it's all around wherever I want and I don't like it to be messy. I'm just going to press it so it doesn't sp spread. Okay. Now, actually, we're going to take our cucumbers. We're going to put my hamburger on the side. Take our cucumbers and put it on our sandwich. Okay, now we're going to close our sandwich up. We're going to take our saran wrap. And we're actually just going to flip it so it's backwards. Just wrap it up. Okay. Here we go. Sandwich that I made before. That is really good. I'm gonna take one more bite because I like I didn't get the cucumber. In. That is really good because the barbecue meat is like sweet. So it's actually really good combining, but I actually, how I did it in here, I put both sized cucumbers, here I put little mini ones. Whatever fine is with you, whatever okay with you, but it's so good, you have to try it. And subscribe under, bye! We're gonna go ahead and add tablespoon of ginger and garlic go ahead and add some salt go ahead and add, and add some pepper and I'm also going to go ahead and add some yogurt okay I'm gonna let this marinate for at least half an hour and then I'm going to go ahead and boil um, or put it on the stove and boil it. And then we're going to go ahead and shred it for our barbecue beef. 
so our um, beef is all ready. I shredded it up really nice and soft. Now we're gonna make the sauce. So for the sauce, we're gonna do one cup of ketchup. We're gonna do two, or let's do, I think this is three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. We're gonna do two tablespoons of mustard. Now if you have some liquid smoke and you wanna put some liquid smoke in here, you can. We're gonna do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay, we're gonna mix all this together. Mix it really well. Okay, and we're gonna put this in our meat mixture and we're gonna let this go for another half an hour to 45 minutes. It's gonna get really nice and thick. And if you want to make this spicy, you can go ahead and add some sambal or sriracha sauce in here. I added so much pepper, black pepper, that I think it's just um, spicy enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and add that to our mixture. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it and cook it for, like I said, about half an hour to 45 minutes. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how this looks.